today just might be the best day ever for a couple different reasons. One, we are making one of my absolute favorite desserts of all time. And two, we have a very special guest in the studio today. You guys have been asking, pleading, begging for us to do a collaboration, and we are finally together having some fun. Please welcome Gemma Stafford, everybody! Oh, yay! Thank you for having me. Oh my it's gosh. It's great to be here and your set, and just, I like, know. just to be baking with you. It's Kind of a little dream come true. Oh, please. We <laughs> feel the same way. We are huge fans of your show on YouTube. Bigger, bolder baking. You guys have seen her make everything from mug cakes, no machine ice yep. cream, and other really delicious desserts, all from scratch, and you're finally here. I'm so excited. I'm really excited to see what we're going to do today. Well, I have a feeling you're going to love this dessert because it involves birthday cake Oreos, sprinkles, a little cream cheese, and chocolate. The best part about birthday cake Oreos is when you open the package, it's like, like, get ready. Like I just want a candle it or like air fresheners like we're pumping cake. this out of the AC. Now we're just gonna put these yep. into our food processor. And with the filling and everything in there? Yes. Yeah, I like your style, Brandy. And we're just gonna pulse it until it's okay. the consistency of sand. Now I'm gonna have you help me out. And I'm just gonna put this into our big bowl. Sure. We're adding a little bit of our secret ingredient. Oh, what's this? <laughs> more birthday cake flavor. So it sprinkle that so in there. <laughs> and for good measure, we're gonna add more sprinkles because yeah, you can yeah. barely see the sprinkles that were in no, there. No, throw those guys in there too. Right? Add the cream cheese. This is gonna take a little muscle work. So what are some of your favorite videos or maybe favorite things that you've made on your show? Some of my favorite videos are things that like have been a success with people, which are, I'd say like mug cakes like mug cakes that we've made and we've kind of evolved them for like just being cakes to like pies in a mug. And you have over 40 recipes of yeah, just ton. things in mugs. It's kind of crazy. Like I had no idea going into this that you could make so many things in a mug, but we make pies in a mug, cookies in a mug, breakfast in a mug. It's, yeah, we've it's done really those fun. too. And yeah. I think I just love how you can actually make a meal and it can be done in less than two minutes. Yeah. It's the well, best. Like, why wouldn't you do that if you, you know, if you right? like oatmeal, eggs. Oh, Great minds think alike, Brandy. That's so true. So this consistency <laughs> is looking one? really good. So now I just have a baking sheet that I've lined with a little bit of parchment paper. And we're just gonna roll these into one inch round balls. Well, these are looking awesome. Now we're just yep. gonna pop them in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes, just to help them firm up before we dip them in the chocolate. Sounds good. All right, let's go. All right, Gemma, so our truffles are nice and cold, and now we're just gonna dip them into the white chocolate. You can dip this into any chocolate you want, okay. but I like the white chocolate because then you can really see the sprinkles. Yeah, me too, I like And I'm just kinda white. using these forks. And then before the chocolate sets, you wanna be sure to sprinkle the sprinkles right on top so it sticks. I made some custom sprinkle blends Did getting really ready for you. These? I got a couple online, and then I was making my own blends. I'm like, oh! Bigger, bolder <laughs> baking is coming. I have to have some fun sprinkles for her to play these with. These are fantastic. I didn't realize that. Yeah. I like these neon ones over here. That's like the 90s rock. It kind of like, is. It's like it? Lisa Frank 90s rock. These are making me so excited. How could you not smile looking at a birthday cake truffle? <laughs> so the best part is by the time that you finish dipping the last truffle, the first one that you did has oh, yeah. already set. Perfect this is. Oh my gosh. I don't even think I can eat it. Mine so much giant. too cute. <laughs> okay, I can't wait to see what you think of these truffles. Mm. It's really good. The cookie from the Oreo, there's like a little bit of saltiness to yeah. it, but it has that funfetti flavor, that buttery, creamy birthday cake. Do you know what I like? Is that it's cake. soft in the middle, it's not hard, like a lot of truffles. Mm -hmm. So you get like a hard shell, but a soft middle. Oh my gosh, I can't think of any better recipe to make with you. Thank you so much Thank for being here. Thank you very much. It's fantastic to be here on your set. I love it. <laughs> Yay. Make sure you head over to my channel, Gemma's Bigger Boulder Baking, where myself and Brandy had a lot of fun baking some really fantastic treats that we know you will love. Oh, this was the best. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Pop Sugar Food. Subscribe to Gemma's channel, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye